Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Makowski. I'm the leading um, investigator on any of my parapsychology, parapsychological, paranormal investigations. Okay, so today I am going to be discussing case um, IIDR11. Hmm. Interesting. It's interesting because this is regards to um, a case I recently um, discussed and did a video back in February. Um, it was literally, it was almost like what I was seeing and visually dealing with was what caused the issue. So this was um, a video visual, um, player audience, it came from 5D meditation. Now, once I went to my source, I was connected with a, a father or a grandfather figure on 5D, who by the way was not happy. Um, I'll discuss why. It's basically an update to the connection of IIDR5 and you know literally the link to the video is in the in this um, in the report too um, and I've sort of connected the video to this after this um, pretty much updated intro to it for the simple reason was when I was sort of seeing what was happening, it was in regards to the um, company that does a lot of weapons training and I thought it was some, it was the connection to Utah um, and the death of a, a young blonde-haired woman. Um, I believe it was caused by a um, negligent discharge, an ND. Um, we, I couldn't, back then when I was first connected, I couldn't see what caused it or why it happened. Um, but today was different because once I made the connection with this father or grandfather figure, um, it was almost like I saw what happened before the incident happened. And it's not good. And I'll tell you something else as well. The grandfather figure or the father figure in this, um, this connection on 5D, um, he didn't hold back with his, um, with his language or his expression of what was going on either. So basically, this is what basically happened and I feel like if this company it hasn't happened yet but I can tell you something about my field too if I'm seeing it again so quickly um, this is gonna cut this is gonna happen soon so this is pretty much I, I would say probably your final heads up um, it was basically what I was visually seeing and when I was shown was uh, an instructor from this company was flirting with this young blonde woman. Head wasn't in the game. It was causing, um, basically, just flirting and then it and wasn't concentrating on the drill, safety drill, to put it that way. And then, um, obviously, all hell broke loose. ND. And then all I heard um, was this father or grandfather figure a few sentences he never fucking learns <laughs> so this is towards a either a grandson or a gra or a son on here on free day who works for a company that does gun training weapons training he never fucking learns and then i heard him say gun bunny behavior stop thinking with your cock yeah yeah that brutal literally that that prevalence so i'm like you okay keep going because I don't I write everything down that I'm hearing and seeing and um, grow up before you lose everything and then disappointed boy you know better that literally those sentences was from this other father or grandfather figure on 5d who's passed over clearly this man on 5d cares enough right or was pretty sounded pretty pissed off I won't lie about that but enough to come through again but it felt like you need this, you, you need, whoever it is needs to hear this now. Because if not, you're not going to get another warning. It, you, you're done. So it's probably a company too. Um, and apparently, all because you're fucking flirting. I swear to God, I, I don't, I can't even get my head around men today. This behaviour. So whatever. Each to their own, but... Something so simple like that, that would normally become normal practice was literally distracted by gun bunny behavior <laughs> really grow up I'm, I'm on par with the father or the grandfather figure whoever this dude is grow up 
it's pathetic so especially when he was more very on full on about grow up before you lose everything gun bunny behavior oh well, that's not rocket science is it but put it this way it was that flirting and that idiotic lack of concentrations that caused a negligent discharge that killed this woman flirting really isn't going to be worth that is it let's be logical so it was weird how it came through i mean this this guy this this energy came through really you know really like tough as well it was like like he was in a hurry really not happy really annoyed um i get it but if this is it's just bizarre be it's bizarre behavior like you can't wait until after the the weapons course you can't wait you really you gotta you gotta be this flirtatious that you you think him with your the wrong freaking brain there's no brain down there it's up here i think that's what he was pretty much trying to say so i'm not sure if anybody needs to hear that or if you know somebody that works um in a company as a, a weapons instructor that does courses with the public i swear to god utah just go back to the video but there's a utah connection um young blonde woman obviously and um, that would do it gun bunny behavior so if you're into all that gun bunny kind of crap that low vibrational shit when it comes to weapons and stuff like that i get it i get why you would be distracted okay then thank god i'm not a man but i don't know give him a heads up so but i think there's a lot more information in the um in the other video it was just so weird to sort of see what happened that caused it because i didn't see that last time and this time it was so weird seeing what happened what why the nd happened in the first place yeah, yeah. it's like eyes are rolling zero sympathy at this point but there you go so i'm gonna leave that there very bizarre behavior one very very pissed off grandfather or father figure on the other side he still clearly cares enough to come through um but there we go have at it and if you just can't think with your brain okay sarah sarah and i'll see you all again very soon everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Mikowski. I'm the leading paranormal investigator on any of my investigations. Um, I, I feel like I just sort of need to highlight too. When I discuss anything in any of my videos, um, I feel like I just need to make this statement. Um, I don't, I'm not here to infringe on your beliefs. You can believe in whatever you want to believe in, um, as can I. Um, I don't want to tell people what to believe in absolutely not that's not what i do this for um i have my own beliefs you are entitled to yours free will you can believe in whatever you want to um it's just usually when i'm expressing mine it, you may feel like i'm trying to enforce them on you absolutely not i'm just openly expressing mine and i discuss it i'm, I'm very transparent about that um that doesn't mean i'm trying to turn you out you know enforce my beliefs onto anybody i would never do that um but i'm not going to stop um discussing and talking about me and what mine sorry and what i believe in absolutely not this is my channel so if you feel if you're ever feeling like maybe when i'm discussing it's, it's good to do this or maybe you could do that it's just a different way of looking at things i'm not telling you what to do i'm just giving you um, I'm just giving people a, a sort of little heads up on what you can do if you want to, but you don't have to because you've got free will. You can do what you want. But I'm not going to stop discussing what I believe in. Absolutely not. So, and again, um, the field that I, I ex you know, my, ex my field of expertise, it, it, it's, it's all to do with parapsychology, paranormal science. It cannot be proven nor disproven, regardless of what you believe in. You can believe the complete opposite to that. You can believe anything you want to but it's not going to change my beliefs um, and what I do and why I do it so I feel like I just sort of need to make that little statement it's very bizarre but you know it's okay so today we're going to be discussing um, intuitive 
Intel Data Report 5. IID, sorry, IIDR5. Now, the downloadable date for this was um, the 6th of April 2021. So yeah, there's a few of them. I'm going to be uploading a few from last year that I feel like still stand out and maybe need to just sort of be updated and, and discussed. Um, but they're all usually during sort of meditation sessions and um, and usually when I'm meditating or doing what I do, I'm using the remote viewing method, sometimes astral projecting. And it's usually, um, I, usually I, I use a lot of my clairaudience and clairvoyancy abilities and clairsentience too. So during these, um, when I'm connecting to energy. Um, and you know, these, this particular intel came through during, um, this was more for my clear audience and it's like a video visual and this was during a fair day, you know 5, 5d meditation session and i heard the following message channel from the um, my energy source that i go to um, i heard the word utah and then i visually found myself stood on desert terrain and i saw what looked like a company um performing a, a gun range safety holding a weapons training course and then I saw a, 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 a woman with blonde hair and who was on this course and she actually got shot. Um, and it, this, this incident, accident, um, was caused by a negligent discharge and unfortunately during this video, video visual I was seeing she lost her life. Um, I did not see if she caused the negligent discharge or if somebody else had caused, that, caused this incident. Um, I'm not sure, when I heard Utah, I'm not sure if the location was in Utah in the United States or um, whether the woman was from Utah. So there's some indications that maybe just to be aware of. Um, action date, when I was asking for an action date, it was, I just heard constant monitoring. Um, and the action to take, the company, I didn't see which company it was, but it's definitely a company that do, that performs gun training, um, gun range, I'm on a gun range outside, so this was outside. Um, but the company is urged by energy to focus on gun safety, and they probably do that anyway, but more so because this can be avoided, this incident. And this incident can be avoided not to, and, and you know, I feel like the, there's also not to ever become complacent or allow your students to become complacent either, otherwise this will cause a major legal impact so I feel like there's a warning there for from my guardian my source energy source to give this company a, a, a heads up that if it's not happened yet I don't feel like it has I would have heard about it but I feel like this this is an incident that can absolutely be avoided so if this res if you're ever maybe performing a gun ranging course in a desert terrain, maybe in Utah, or you have a blonde haired lady um, in her mid 30s who's from Utah and is on your course. Be very careful, just I don't know, just keep that put that to a side and just observe um, and then make sure gun safety drills are spot on. Um, but this could be actually in Utah, it could the course could be held in Utah. But there is something to do with Utah. It, was, it came out very, very clear. So, that I hope helps. Um, I know many, I mean, I know many companies perform sort of gun, gun training, etc. But yeah, it's very. Um, if this happens, it's going to cause a huge, and major legal impact. So, I guess that's really the one. The heads up. So I hope that helps. Um, other than that, if you're a company and you do gun training, uh, weapons training, etc. I don't know if you if you see this video, just make that a, a very keep this at the back of your mind and then sort of monitor. Like, okay, interesting. We're actually going to be holding one in Utah. That's interesting. And then just be very very careful when you're there. I don't know if you have to check check and recheck people's weapons. Um, and then I don't know highlight MDs. So that's I'm going to leave that there. I feel like that's the best I can do for that one. So other than that, I will see you all again for another um, intuitive Intel data report.